and SM1. Today I will explain you exercise 5C, question number 4. And the question is the sum of two numbers, one of which is two-third of the other, is 45. Find the smaller number. The sum of two numbers, one of which is two-third of the other. Here we do not know the number. And the second number they said that that is two-third of the number, other number. We do not know the other number, so we can assume the number x. We can assume the number x. Here, we assume that the number is x. Let's, the number is x. So, they said that this is the other number and the second number is two-third of the other number. If this is the other number, so two-third means two by three. Of the other number means that you have to multiply two by three with the number that you have assumed, the other number. Two by third of the other number means that you have to multiply two by three with x. So, you will get two over three x. They said that their sum is equal to x plus 2 by 3x is equal to 45. They said that find the smaller number. Always remember that this is the whole number and this is the fraction. The fraction number is the smaller number than the whole number. So in this case here it's x and plus 2 by 3x whenever you are having fractions you have to take the LCM. Always remember whenever you are having fractions you have to take the LCM. So the LCM is 3. Which time 1 is 3? 1 3s are 3 and 3 1s are 3. 3x plus 2x is equal to 45. 3x plus 2x will be 5x over 3 is equal to 45. Here 3 is dividing. It will go to that side. It will multiply. 45 multiply by 3. 5x is equal to 5 3s are 15, 3 4s are 12, 13, 135. Here we have to find out the value of x. So 5 is multiplying with x and it will go to that side. It will divide. 135 divided by 5. So x will be 5 2s are 10, 5 7s are 35. x is 27. They said that find the smallest number. So the smallest number is. As I have told you that the number which is in fraction and the number which is whole, in whole, the fractional number is smaller than the whole number. So here 2 by 3x, I can put the value of x, the value of x is 27, so I can write 27 instead of this x. 3 1s are 3, 3 9s are 27 and 2 9s are 18. This is your answer. Now I am going to explain you question number 5. Question number 5 is If a number is tripled, it gives the same result as when 28 is added to it. Find the number. They said that if a number is tripled, we do not know the number and tripled mean 3 times. So we can assume the number x and tripled mean 3x and it gives the same result as when 28 is added to it. Let's suppose the number is 8 and when we will add 28, it will become x plus 28. Now let's do it. Let's, the number is x. Tripled means, tripled means that you have to multiply the number with 3. It will become 3x. They said that if the number is tripled, means 3x it will give the same result when 28 is added to the number 20 is added to the number mean this is x and 28 is added to this number we have assumed the number x tripled means 3x so here we can find out the value of x we can find out the number i can move x to this side here it is 28 3x minus x will become 2x 28 I have to find out the value of x. So this 2 is multiplying with x. When it will come to this side, it will divide. 28 over 2. So the number is 14. This is your answer. 